Hey everybody, Doc here, and uh, my and my friend. Hi. Big. I'm big. And bi uh, really. today, what? Not really. I'm not really fat. Yeah, well, we know that, but that's just the name you chose. But anyways, well, at least I know that they don't. But anyways, we're here today, bringing you a new sort of show thing where Big and I are basically gonna just talk about. Uh, random stuff in the world of gaming, or even just the world itself, to be honest. But we just stuck with gaming for this episode. So... One sec. Okay. So basically, to start with, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about... Uh, si uh, our first topic today is EA is not giving refunds for SimCity. And that, uh... And basically, this came from... Where was this? Wait, hold up. I mixed up my notes, I think. Or might did I mix up my notes? I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. No. EA isn't giving uh, refunds for SimCity. Uh, as and this my source here is Ars Technica. Uh, don't I don't have the links, so uh, whatever. But basically, EA basically stated that it's not going to be altering its usual digital refund policy in the wake of Sim, the SimCity server issue. So well, uh, if I make comment, go ahead. Um. Recently. I bought a Supreme Commander 2 in the DLC, and uh, my DLC code didn't work. Yeah, that's good. So, you know, I messaged Steam, and, uh, you know, people, and Steam has the same policy as AA. They don't, they, EA, they don't refund. Like, I got an email, they're saying, well, yes, you're, we don't really, they didn't really explain anything about the issue. Wait, I'm going to pull up the email here and redo the wise words of Steam support. It took them two weeks to pretty much say, uh, our policy, we don't renew anything, but it's like, but they, they did say as a one-time customer service gesture, we can issue you a store credit for the amount of your purchase in your Steam wallet, which is kind of okay, but it's like, I want my game, I don't want $10. Anyway. I did not know uh, you had sent them an email. Um, I went to the Steam support site, followed the instructions. Okay. I must say, EA's. I've had experience with both customer services. EA is much fa faster with responding. Yeah, but EA usually isn't very good. Cause remember, no, actually. Cause, well, haven't you seen all the origin horror stories and stuff? Like back when Origin started up, at, like their customer service was absolutely well, terrible. Well, you have to remember, people try to compare Origin to Steam. That's like, it's like the Apple and Google Maps. Google Maps and Steam are so established, and they've been doing it for so long that they've that they know perfected the formula. Where Origin and Apple Maps and I don't know, it doesn't like there's some other one. It's like I don't know. They've perf they they're getting into it, and they haven't perfected the formula. I honestly think Origin can be very good. Like I'm a huge EA fan, so. Mm -hmm. True, but I think they can fix it. But to be uh, well, actually, no, never mind. I was gonna say that uh, someone that EA was, or if anyone was asking for refunds, they were going to say they were gonna ban them. But then, leading in this comment in this article, this person was like, "Oh, they're gonna ban me!" But that he had pretty much said, "Oh, I'm gonna pull away my um, what do you, my uh, what was it? His bank account. Like he was not gonna pay for the game. He was gonna like end a pro end the pa uh, payment process." So that's kind of why he got banned, I think, or was being threatened to banned. Well, see, I think people are a bit overreacting to the whole online thing. And, like, this this article he sent me, so I'm reading it. I don't know where it's from, but it says, um, right. in the first 22 hours, 700,000 cities were created, which, that's, that's this. I'm terrible at wording this. <laughs> EA wasn't prepared is what it's saying. They didn't expect the SimCity community, which is very fanatical as it is, to be so dedicated. Large. And they, they, they say that, you know, they're like, we're right. We messed up. You know, they've, they've taken away some features like the cheetah speed, which is it's understandable because it's always online. And they're trying to evolve the game, which is good. Dumb. Maybe they made it too big of a step with this. But I think it was in the right direction. Alright, actually, now I think of it, we should probably put our viewpoints on the whole SimCity thing out there in the first place. Big oh, yeah. is a 
fan of SimCity and th and the new SimCity, while I really don't like it, and mostly because of the reasons of always online DRM and there and as of recently they removed uh, uh, game features because they because the servers couldn't handle it, and that's mainly and I think that's mainly because they didn't right do intensive stress tests of their servers like they should have like they didn't basically go through the proper like procedures if you're going to release an online only game. And I also well, think that you you really shouldn't have to be online to play single player. Like I'll, like so, a lot of these people are just going in to play single player by themselves. I really don't think I should have to go through a set of servers in order to play a single player game. This is true, but um, it says here that in the beta they didn't have a they had like a fraction of the turnout that they had for like when the actual game released. So that they kind of got misgestured. And I give faith in EA because this same thing happened with Battlefield 3. And look where Battlefield 3's come. It's very popular. It's a very good game. It's done very well. Also, and uh, secondly, the DRM, I, th I think it's somewhere that it has to happen. I think it's something that's going to happen whether we like it or people not. like it or not. Because pirating and companies are very protective and it's understandable but yeah but pirating feel... is such a such a small percentage like it doesn't really even matter i mean you're still you're still making a ton of money regardless it might not be as much money as you want but you're still making money it's the world business model you gotta gotta roll with it anyway and by the way anyway. speaking of battlefield uh just like as i'm sitting here on my phone i just i see an article that's basically saying that uh uh ea sent out a banner uh messages with like a picture where it has like the same battlefield 3 background stuff like on the box art and basically mm -hmm. it's a uh, it's a save the date march 26 2013 so i'm thinking maybe that's a tease that's for battlefield the next 4. dlc release uh not i don't think it's deal is it the dlc release because oh, yeah, that's, be a that's for... when it becomes fully public the new uh end game or whatever it's called huh. Well, if they if they're doing that, that means nothing's going on with Battlefield Three anymore. I think that might be them teasing for Battlefield Four, to be honest. No, the twenty sixth is when uh, Endgame comes out. Last yeah, DLC. Yeah, yeah, I know. But if the last DLC comes out, then why not keep it, and people's interest is already there in Battlefield Three. Why not keep it with uh, saying, "Oh, hey, guess what? The next Battlefield." Well, they already confirmed there's going to be another Battlefield. Well, we know that with the whole Warfighter bonanza nonsense. Well, yeah, they. Medal of Honor got canceled, if anyone didn't know. They cut Medal of Honor. That's pretty old news. Anyway, back yeah. to the topic. We're, we're, we're drifting here. Yeah, yeah, sorry about Like that. a shift adrift. But, but, no, a <laughs> shift adrift. All right, but anyways. My opinion on the DRM. Oh, yeah, sorry. Right. Yes, it has to happen. PlayStation, new PlayStation should have it. New Xbox is going to have it. I think that's one of our later topics. But, actually, um, uh, the, they actually announced, I think, a couple weeks ago that the P that the PlayStation Four actually won't have the um, D the uh, used game DRM. Oh, okay. That's coming anyway, from somebody. Um, I think the always online is honestly a very good step, and I think what they've done, they've decreased scale, like overall in the game. They've taken it down. Obviously, the cities are smaller. They're gonna come out with a DLC that makes the maps bigger. Which I feel they maybe should have included, but what I've been reading a lot of reviews and they say in the late game, the game really starts yeah, to get demanding because it tracks like every citizen. You can click on them. It tells you all about them and stuff. But uh, I think it's a step in the right direction, but maybe they should have added that offline option because SimCity has been largely single player in making such a big step from total single player to total multiplayer. There should there should be like one game in between, because that's just too big of a change. Mm -hmm. And to be and uh, moving on from there about the whole sim, about EA and SimCity not getting refunds. Instead, what they're going to be doing from and this is from a press release from EA itself. They're basically saying that hey, we're sorry, we know we ballsed up, but what we're going to be doing is before anytime before March 18th, SimCity if you activate people, your game. Yeah, if you've activated your game before March 18th, EA will give you a free game, pretty much. Which I think is good. They said yeah. it's like giving friend a... Uh, wait. Kind of like buying a present for a friend. You did something to be... Wait. <laughs> kind of <laughs> like buying a crummy. present for a friend after you did something crummy. So they did something crummy and they're making it up. 
AKA so, made a terrible, terrible game. You you ate your cake and you get it too, is what they're saying. <laughs> so, no, you get your cake and have it too. So yeah, EA is pretty much winding back from all this terrible P from all this terrible PR that they're getting. So they're basically, eh, new game. That'll make everyone be happy. But no, that's I think that's a good idea. Honestly, it's a, it's like, a good idea, but it's not gonna make people forget that there that this stuff happened. Well, people obviously forgot that Battlefield had the server issues as well. Mm, true. Forgot, you can probably hear that in the background. Speaking of Battlefield, I'm playing it. <laughs> oh, by the way, <laughs> uh, speaking of, of the game, the game you're seeing in the background right now uh, is EVE Online. I really didn't have anything to to play in the ba uh, have in the background, but uh, it's, uh, as a game that wouldn't be too distracting. So I guess I would I just kind of put this here. Hi, this is me, uh, my avatar. I'm wandering around now. We'll go look at my ship in a second but continue on uh with the what's the next topic big um age of empires 2 hdo released on steam that's kind of uh no no, no no but the next sim city one oh 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 god uh you're you're way far well I'm, we'll get to I'm that don't worry sorry uh oh wait there's my ship guys polygon changed their sim city review they dropped it from a 9.5 to an 8 then to a 4 which i feel is a little drastic Eh, not really. Well, I mean, the, I think, changing I think it twice, yeah, it's kind tend of... tend to focus on the bad. You have to admit it. They focus on the bad. They don't try to look... At anything good. Because, like, it, I like what they've done with SimCity, how they've changed it. Like, instead of doing large scale, they've they've added... They've taken away, like, size, as in city size, and add, they've, they added a ton of depth. You can now specialize, and industry actually, like, affects each other. Like, if you zone commercial, if a hotel is built that increases your tourism which can help your casinos if that's your focus and i think that's a very good feature they've had very much depth and purpose instead of just this building gives x jobs this building has x citizens in it and this building built they've taken away the numbers and they've added a they've added a purpose to the numbers i guess you could say that mm -hmm. and I'm, all those like intricate stats that people like are still shit. very much there they've just been yes they've dumbed down the game in a sense but if you really look at it, that same like depth of numbers that people like to look at is still there. Yes, the size is down, but they've added a lot of depth to the game, which I really like. And they've made it look really good, in my opinion. Because before it was more of like, it was quote-unquote 3D, which it was more like four angles, so I don't really call that Oh, hey, you're 3D. on Eve. Yeah, I'm on Eve, too. Uh, okay, cool. Where's Plutus, guys? Or Plut Plutus, big. My name is Plutus. Yeah. Don't come find me. <laughs> Don't with that. You won't find us. We'll get you. Well, you you probably will. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how many people the, out the there. Doesn't put his little box, a little box over his station. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna undock and I'm gonna fly in circles because. All right, I'm just, I'm just sitting in the station, but uh, I'll, I think I'll undock later in the episode, but in regards, but like with this whole polygon changing the reviews thing, I think it's like. They, I don't think you should be able to change, like, with, I'm just talking about gaming journalism now. I don't really think they should be able to change their review, like, their review numbers. Well, you can't, I can't understand changing it. Because, like, and I, I don't even think I, they should be able to, like, review the game before it's fully out. Because, like, if this were to, like, if this were to happen, because before, they were at a full 9.5 saying, this game's amazing and all that. But then they dropped it down as soon as the game's released. It's like, but you said this was a good game and you kind of, that's basically sort of, false advertisement for people for people because a lot of people will just go out like if they see a good review for a game they'll go out and buy it and yeah. so it like it's just they didn't now like now they've dropped a review so now people won't go out and try to buy the game but they had but the review was up there beforehand so a bunch of people who thought oh this game's gonna be amazing pretty much got burned to be honest well, I that. think the game is good. I think they really knocked it for the server issue, which I honestly don't think is a fair way of rating a game. Because, mm -hmm. like Battlefield, Battlefield got excellent reviews, and despite the server problems, no one seemed to be bothered by it. But yet, why with SimCity is it any different? That's what I don't understand with like all these reviews and stuff. Like, how is SimCity with its server problems different from like Battlefield with its server problems? Well, Battlefield did have its own like si had its own single player separate from the servers, and I think everyone's like focusing okay, in on. Okay, who buys you Battlefield can... for the single player? You you tell me that. <laughs> uh, that one dude over there in the middle of that place. Is known and has always been known as a multiplayer game. 
Mm, true. But, I mean, I think people are mainly hanging on to the fact that they're, that people don't... Let, I mean, not people, but... I think everyone just needs to smile a bit more. Eh, that would be... You know what? Smile. Everyone out there right now, smile. Do just, it. Like, I'm looking think, at you. Think about something happy, like sunshine or clouds <laughs> or puppies, because you can't get mad at puppies unless you don't like puppies or you're allergic. But, I mean, even if you're allergic, that doesn't mean you can get mad at puppies. Because, <laughs> I mean, you're just allergic. Don't discriminate, haters. All right, but so anyways, to, to reiterate, gaming journalism, I'm looking at you. You need to stop putting numbers in your reviews. Just make reviews and make them after the game comes out. Uh, no, because they, don't they get like, you know, they're a little like, you they, are press, and so you get... Yeah, it, they get their own it, press review. That means, cool, you can see the game beforehand, but don't write a review, don't write a review until the day of the game... But you out, can't really write a review after. about the multiplayer of a game until the game comes out because yeah. that's very dictated by the people playing it. But yeah. but multiplayer games, you're kind of riding a line when you're reviewing it because you never know what the lobby is going to be like, and there's there's too many factors. Speaking many and factors. one more thing, of, one more thing about SimCity before we we finally move on from this topic. Uh, EA has finally has said to everyone, "Hey, stop advertising." And this is after uh, Amazon has pretty much just pulled it from its shelves and it's like, no, 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 this is bad. This is bad. Shh, go away. Uh, I think that was a good decision to stop advertising, you know, because they're having problems and they shouldn't be trying to sell more copies if there's problems with the game, you know? Yeah. Which I think that's that's just being a good person kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether any other way to say that. Yeah, I'm not. When he gets a karma cookie. <laughs> karma cookie? Karma cookie. Is that a new thing? Copyrighted, patent pending. All right, sweet. Let's do this. All right, moving on. Uh, do, 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 do. The oh, yeah, Wii okay. or no Xbox? Wii U, not the Wii U. All right, so I don't care about Wii. I think Wii is overhyped and it's terrible. Well, okay, let, let's talk about the Wii U in the first place. Where are the games? Like, there's li there's literally, literally been no big games Wii U. for the Wii U. I just Wii U. know I don't like Wii, so. Well, I I my have girlfriend a Wii. likes Wii. I mean, you, I she'd be yeah. all like, yeah, I love the Wii. I play Wii Sports. I'm like. That's not a game. It's not a game. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm going to fit my... You can't... The, the Wii is uh, for fun. I'm seven. Let's play Mario Kart kind of thing. It's not a... It's not a, like, actual it's not a thing. You can't compare it to something like the Xbox because it's not trying to be like the Xbox. It's yeah. trying to be a fun... It's a toy more of than, than a console. Yeah. But, like, the thing is with... Uh, what do you want to call it? The Wii U, what, is that the thing you carry around, right? Uh, it's it's the one where it's got like the tablet for the for like be, so you can hold in your hands and stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's like all in that tablet thing, right? Yeah, well, uh, it's it's really complicated. I think. I mean, I don't have one personally. But well, it, it's kind of like a Nintendo DS, in my opinion. Is it like a Nintendo DS kind of? Um. Well, I'm I'm not even sure, but I mean. I know I for a fact that you can that pretty much you can basically just hey if someone wants to play like you can have a like for, like I think there was a uh, idea for games out there a, like back when it first came out where it was like you would have four regular Wii remotes doing stuff like and then you would have the one central tablet Wii mo Wii mote and just like have them like do it like doing stuff while these other people are actually playing the game. Okay, that's one problem with the Wii U is we just don't know what it is. Yeah, so that's, a... that's problem number one. <laughs> Problem Can't number one, about we it have if you no know idea what it is because you're unfairly talking about it. But anyways, apparently Miyamo uh was it Miyamoto? Yeah, Miyamoto is uh going to be is saying, yeah, the interface is bad. We're gonna change it by summer. Da 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 da. And it, I, by, th by the way, Miyamoto is actually planning to retire, and he's currently setting up Nintendo for that. That was an article I read literally like ten minutes ago. Well, he better do good because. I I feel like Nintendo's kind of lost its edge. Uh, well, yeah. To be honest, there oh, I think the you're, you're, people aren't lining up anymore for the new Nintendo games. Yeah. Not well, as they much. are, but not as like not as much. Not as much. Yeah, no, not as much as like Call of Duty or something. Which, by the way, don't spend money on Call of Duty. That is a terrible game. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't uh, like. I mean, it, it's it's an arena shooter, which I'm already not really a fan of. But it's kind of they've kind of gotten a little. I don't know. They got a little lazy. I mean, a little. They've there's been no like improvements to the okay, game. Okay, they reskin the their game like six times, but 
There, there's been like literally no innovation in the game. It's just stagnant, and it's pretty much mm-hmm. causing stagnation in most other FPSs. Well, because everyone, everyone wants, wants to, like, to follow that. Yeah, everyone Duty wants to follow Call of Duty. Fine, because they don't try to change it. They just kind of put some nice colors and new pictures and guns. Yeah, and it's it's causing stagnation in the industry because everyone wants to follow Call of Duty. Don't like, do that, everyone wants developers. To that. If you're watching, which you probably aren't, or you you three people that watch this, you <laughs> you go do good things. You you go do stuff. Do How- like see. I mean, I don't really play Bungie games. See, Bungie does its own thing. Bungie's like, screw you guys. I'm making Halo. Well, I mean, Halo, in my opinion, got a little repetitive. A little bit. I, but at least it was Halo new. With, but, but their new game looks pretty promising. I might actually buy it. Yeah, Des- I'm actually liking the look of Destiny. I mean, I think they're really just starting something new. I mean, hey, Halo started on Mac, so that's where it's at, everyone. No. You watch out. Don't, don't buy a Mac. Don't don't be t- don't be big here. You you watch out, Windows. Just so you we, know, big. We has gave you Halo. Gave quote unquote. And by it, by that you mean Microsoft, Microsoft was like, hey, Microsoft. come here, bro. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Let's let's what's right. next? Uh, uh, Xbox, Xbox not focused on games. Well, that's very true with the PlayStation. Well, the share button. I don't want a share button. Yeah, no, that's kind of dumb. Guys, but... look, I got. A triple kill in... Yeah, okay. Where, where is my start and select? Where? Where did you go? I don't know. I was a little... It's like... They're they're trying to be like face... Station. We're going in space, everybody, by the no, way. No, face station. No, no, no. I'm going I'm going out into space. Uh, on, in, on the game right now. Don't don't worry, your little pretty head. I'm just going to go out and want in this, like... Circled the station in this massive ship. Check this out. Look at this beautiful game. Eve is a pretty nice game. We'll talk about Eve in a minute. Oh, God. Yeah, we'll talk about Eve in a minute, so don't worry about that. This yeah, there, this is true, though. This this is this is happening with all techs. Everything's kind of merging together, and smart TVs, your smartphones, like a computer now. All, all technology's kind of coming together. You know what the PlayStation Xbox would be in is what the start of saying is they're trying to be like your home theater center. I mean, like, you get this... You can now watch movies, check Facebook, you know, all that. And I see that. that that's not, If you think about it overall, it's it's kind of a makes life a bit simpler. It kind of does, but I mean, it's but, like it's supposed. If you're gonna be, to be console, yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be a game console. It should be a game console for, first, and then add all on, on these things. All, otherwise, I Sony still that be the stuff is, like in the fine and the fine print. No, more like that little description. Like, you see a product, and it has the big banner, like, super toothbrush, brushes your teeth, but then the fine print, it should say, like, MP3 player, laser pointer. <laughs> like, I'm not going to buy a toothbrush for a laser pointer. I'm going to buy it to brush my teeth. Yeah, and, like, but... Yeah, make me a laser painter toothbrush. I will probably buy but it. But, like, the, play- the PlayStation 4 is still pretty focused on games, or at least ac- according to Sony. I don't understand. Does be- it have built-in recording? Does it um, have built yeah, There's, actually, it has. Uh, it's going to have built-in recording software and built-in so like, like streaming software. All the Call of Duties, where it kind of records itself if you have it on. Yeah, pretty much. I well, feel like that would be a free hog, but I'm guessing the hard drives are going to be much bigger. bigger. I haven't really. I mean, back. well, the I'm newest uh, Xbox is two hundred. Is like what two hundred forty gigs at two hundred fifty. Yeah, two hundred fifty uh, gigs at max. We can definitely put a bit. We can pretty much put. If we can do that for the for like the new new quote unquote Xbox, which is pretty old, to be in uh, terms as of now, I'm pretty sure we can fit some, like a gig or more. Well, I'll, I'll give you a kind. Of, I feel like Battlefield really shows like what a modern game will take, like on next gen consoles, and it takes 20 gigabytes for one game to be fully installed, which I honestly think is quite realistic because Battlefield is a demanding game if you had it on your PC, you know, it's it's not a walk in the park to play it on max settings, and I feel also, like that's just, where the gaming industry is headed. I just said I said gigabyte when I should when I meant terabyte. So sorry everyone for who's suddenly oh, yeah. confused. Terabyte hard drive. Well, can you buy like custom terabyte hard drives, or am I or am I also just crazy? What do you mean? Terabyte like custom Xbox hard drives. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can hook up. You could probably uh, you could put you could probably put an external drive on it. Yeah, you could put an, yeah, like yeah, yeah. syncs it think. takes away half the memory of your flash drive. And then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it ruins your flash drive, it but yes, ruins you everything. 
but yeah, no, but... Uh, but anyways, PlayStation 4 is going to be focused on games, or at least is going to try to focus on games. While they're both the... trying to be home media centers. That's what they're trying to yeah, be. Yeah, they're they're trying to do that. But at least at least PlayStation 4 hasn't forgotten what it is, and still and still like Sony is said, hey, look at all these cool games that we have. Well, Microsoft's just like, look at the Connect, it looks shiny. What well, no, what are not, these not games really, you speak not really. of? You're 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 a little overkilling it there. Well, well okay, a little buddy, bit. Tell but me I mean, back. The, I mean, okay, Take the, the past two E3s. And pull the reins backwards. The past two E3s have been focused on that damn, that damn video camera that thingy. That camera that watches me be fat. Yeah. Bad at life. Yeah. It, it, Maybe they're the past two you. E3s have been just nothing but focused on that. Well, everyone's just like, hey, it's check it. out these games. It's find you. What? Maybe it knows. It knows what you're doing in your free time. It knows. It's watching you. That little, those two little, or those like four eyes, or whatever the fuck eyes it has. Four eyes. I think. Ah, uh, like four eyes. eyes. Uh, glass. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Yeah, I've I've really burnt this topic. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know. I definitely know for a fact that I'm probably going. I, if I'm going to get a console, it's going to be the uh new the PlayStation Four, and most likely not the new Xbox, because I have a feeling the new Xbox is going to be terrible. We haven't seen the Xbox yet. Well, we haven't because they haven't even released any information about it. Well, Sony's just Sony's just like, sup? Look at all well, this Sony stuff. Sony did everything but it show us the actual console. So okay, do you it, really need to? Do you really need to? No, see I don't the care what it console. looks like as long as it does what it has to do. Exactly. Well, I mean, I way. like my. I'd like a car that looks nice. I mean, like, you know. Well, okay, will that car still drive? I, I haven't looked reliably? at. Oh, my Xbox is right there, actually. So I, I do look at my Xbox. <laughs> oh my God! There's a lot of people. Anyway. What? Um, Playing Battlefield, sorry, this stuff oh, okay. happens. Okay, but uh, what do you? I was gonna say something, I kind of forgot. God, we've been going for almost half an hour now. Yeah, we'll we'll go for longer. Should probably. we like cut and? No, 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 no. I I have a feeling where this is probably gonna be anywhere from half hour to an hour. Well, it's already uh, half it's hour, so. No, it's we can keep going for an hour. Which I can just edit. Bounds, no. I, I don't can just care. Edit it. I I got all of one hour, two hours, one two, yeah. Anywho, right. anyways, anyway, I think PlayStation is kind of trying to catch my synopsis of it. PlayStation is trying to catch up because honestly, the PlayStation Three player connection yeah, stuff is terrible. It's it's bad. I mean, yeah. it's Xbox is very Xbox knows what they're doing right now. They got all the in-game chat and the all the fan PlayStation. I fe I've heard is very rocky and yeah, they're actually going to have an in-game chat. For, and by in-game, we like the party system. Well, yeah, that's good. And did yeah. PlayStation not have parties? No, it didn't have parties. Doesn't have parties. You could wow. do you could do private chat with like one other player, but so I, see, I think that's what I mean. They're trying to catch up on the kind of social side of things because they've been doing because the PlayStation Three has better hardware than the Xbox. Yeah, and the but PlayStation Four has them. Is pretty much like a is is like a good mid grade PC, PC mid grade PC, but it's dedicated. So yeah, it's, so it doesn't have to worry about all the nonsense stupid. like that. Megatron over here has to. By the way, my computer's named Megatron. In case. You ever were curious. Anyway, moving on to the next topic. HD Empire 2 HD released HD to be released on Steam. Nothing on April least, 9th. Nothing really special there. Yeah. You can well, you can pre-purchase the game at a, a 10, 10 cent discount to and gain access sooner. About four well, days sooner. It's only for So you have there's a min why would there be a minimum? Shouldn't there be like a Okay, so they took a game, they reskinned it, and they're gonna try to sell it. Okay, that's yeah, great. I mean, people love that game because it's very diverse, very plus. And I mean, I think it could do it. It'll do good probably, but yeah, but that's it's because people have nostalgia over this HD, all all of these HD things. Like well, as like, you, like look on now, there's like so many HD connections. Stop talking and they over called me. it 3D. I mean, I wasn't too impressed. I went and saw it. Wait, what? I went and saw the Titanic when they re-released it. And what? Nothing. It was just kind of like, hey, I'm watching Titanic. What am I? I'm not wowed. I don't think. Yeah, I'm I actually went and saw uh, that Jack and the Beanstalk thing with my girlfriend. That was and bad. She was, yeah, that was dumb. But and in, in the preview, there was Jurassic Park 3D. It's like, why do you need to make all these remakes of, of things? You don't because need them. People aren't cool in the it, movie industry. Again, movie industry. Stab. Stop with the 3D. No one likes 3D. My Avatar 2, okay? <laughs> the best movies. But anyways, yeah. HD collections, I don't think they're really good. In fact, I don't think they should exist. Because if you want to play a game 
then just play the game that that you already have, you already own, you already know you own it, unless you got rid of it, and it's really going to be really hard to find, but you can probably still find one, because there's a million copies of everything everywhere. But, I mean, it, it, HD, all the HD uh, uh, things do is just reskin. That's it. I honestly think shinier. the reskin of the Age of the Empires 2 would be good, because, you know, the, if, you, if you played Age of the Empires 2 Gold Edition... No, I have actually never played an. That game is pixely as shit. When you get a bunch of units together, you can't tell what the hell's going on. So I think it's a good idea. So I can actually tell what's happening, and I think some of the units are really cool. So go ahead. And and then again, this game was released in what, 1999? Yeah. Oh, great uh, game, my opinion. September 30, 1999. Yeah, that's when it was released. So that was that was literally what, 13 years, 14 years ago. Many years in my past. And uh, basically, minimum minimum system requirements are going to be: you need a Windows XP, Vista seven or eight. Boo, eight. eight is uh, terrible. Yeah, you need Steam. So- you need Steam Obviously. so you can buy the game. You know, si- side note: Steam, in a way, is honestly a giant DRM. How so? Um, you have to have Steam on if you want to play any of the games you buy on Steam multiplayer. You have to. Uh, yeah, it's honestly, kinda. it's a big DRM. I mean, yes, you can play it offline, but still, it's a big DRM. Yeah, that, nah, nah, you, you kind of bring that it's up. It's super DRM, a really in a sense. Well, yeah, it's kinda. monitoring software. I, I can't it's the really government, argue. guys. It's the government. No, the government. the government doesn't care what game. I actually, I really can't argue with that now thinking about it. Steam does have, is pretty, kind of DRM y, but then again, everyone, there's DRM everywhere and nowadays. Yeah. But it, like, it's something see, that has to happen. I mean, yeah. And like, I mean, I mean yes, as compared to most is huge, but they don't want it to happen, and they're yeah. Yeah, but if you think about it, Steam's DRM isn't as bad as other as other places. Yes. Anyway, moving on. Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag. I was going to talk about minimum system requirements. For... I don't care about the minimum system. Requirements. All right, fine. All you need to know Your is you need. Computer cannot run Age of the Empires Two. You. You can't run Age of the Empires Two HD. I mean, that game has like no system requirements. You need like a monkey in your little box. I think it's like, I think the original StarCraft has like no system requirements. Yeah, I, I know because they're old and they're pixely. They're like what sixty four bit. Yeah, you know what? Anyway. If your if your computer can't run can't run solitaire, you can't play this game. Yeah. So, all you little netbooks will kill yourselves because I hate netbooks. The netbooks are bad. A joke. So Just get nice. a tablet. Don't buy a netbook. Why would you wait? wait why'd you buy a tablet? Because tablets are power, more powerful than netbooks, they run way faster. And yes, they're more expensive, but they're way nicer. No, no, no. Why would you buy a tablet in the first place and not, like, say, some kind of, like, a, uh, what do you want to call it? Like, uh, Okay, if you walk into a coffee shop and you want to be all cool, would you rather have a, A, a tablet, or B, a, like, I don't know, a netbook? I mean, I, I, I'd, I'd rather have some like, kind of netbook look, or I'm laptop. Cause... I got an iPad. But it's just, a tablet is just another computer. Yeah, but it's, it's, just be- but it's like a jacked up netbook that looks cool and runs like properly. Netbooks literally struggle to open the internet. Hmm. They're they're not even they're just not even they're just a joke. Anyway, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I think it's gonna be great. <laughs> uh it's I mean, there's a lot of recovery they gotta do from Assassin's Creed 3, because oh, that was Jesus just bad. Christ, that game was terrible. No, the game wasn't terrible, there was just a lot of kind of... There was a lot of terrible choices. Like, the only great, good thing about that game was the sailing part. And guess what? They're going to capitalize upon that! Why? Well, no, that's a good decision! That's that, a good uh, decision! That is pr- a kind of a good decision, but, I mean... You take the best features from the last game, add a few more... And you got a new game, and I think that's great. I'm actually gonna buy my first Assassin's Creed game, probably. Really? Huh. And anyways, uh, basically yeah, the whole story about beh- these games we're talking about. So hate, hate on me. <laughs> Say something mean about my family or something. You're fat. Yeah, call me fat because my the word big is in my name. Obviously, fat kid. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, uh, uh, let's see. Looking at this. This is just recap. Like I'm reading the story. It's basically the whole story is confirmed that Edward Kenway is the main protagonist of this installment. Edward is the father of the of the deceased Haytham Kenway and grandfather to Naive Connor. So he's directly related to the fir- to Connor from Assassin's Creed Three. So uh, you, so I don't think uh, there's going to be a new character or anything. I think I mean no, Desmond, the main character is going to be new. He's going to be new 
New blood. Oh, oh yeah, I, I mean, you mean like new family. Okay, never mind. Yeah, cause, well, I mean, Wait, what you, I mind if I, you mind if I spoil everything? Internet, if you're if you're still there, you might want to skip ahead a minute or two because I'm yeah, about to spoil you all the Assassin's stuck Creed. with us for like 30 minutes now, you get a trophy. Yeah, but anyways, skip ahead if you don't want to hear what I'm about to say because three, two, one, Desmond's dead. Oh so, no, I don't know who that is. Yeah, he's he's the main, he's a real life dude. But anyways, yeah, the whole so, idea. We just got to double kill the RPG. Sorry. <laughs> But anyways, the, uh, this game takes place 1713, Golden Age of Pirates, yada yeah. yada, Arg, you're gonna meet Blackbeard, Yeah, he uh, a trailer, Bane. if you haven't seen yeah. it. We should probably put all this stuff in the description, like these trailers. Yeah, I probably will. I'll, I'll end up these doing articles, it, articles, if... I you can know, explore you all these cities, I you can you. pirates. I wonder if you can find Jack Sparrow. No, you probably can't. I and feel if, like whoa. I violate, like, copyright a lot. Nah, nah. And uh, this dude, uh, you'll, you for the first Disney's time, you'll be able to whoever electronic arts, because that'd be bad. Wait, what? Doesn't electronic arts make Assassin's Creed? No, Ubisoft. But I thought Ubisoft was owned by electronic arts. No, they're not. Ubisoft is its own country. Uh, country, yes. yes These Ubisoft places are now countries. Sovereignty. If you haven't been watching CNN. Wait, what? Sovereignty. 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 What about it? I haven't been watching CNN. Enlighten me. Um, yeah, Ubisoft is its own country now. Huh, did not know that. Yeah. Also, North Korea is planning to Dan declare war on the world. Oh yeah, they're apparently going to, like, declare war on humanity or something like that. I don't know, they're crazy. <laughs> just just pat them on the head and tell yeah, them. Yeah, brief political topping, this is all we're going to say. North Korea is logistically incapable of inv invading the United States. That's the end of it. Done. Moving on. Uh, you can, for the first time, you'll be able to swim underwater, apparently. Wow, and revolutionary features. Actually, that is considering the fact that in the first game, you couldn't. If you touched water, you died. Yeah, second game, I never you could, seen you could swimming swim. underwater in a game. I mean, honestly, I'm a little blown away that they've taken such a daring step. I know, man. But you got I mean, and guess what? Cry, you you got to worry get, about yeah, geez, stuff it, underneath the water. Man. Under the water? Whoa! I thought water was just this like gray soup stuff that was on the edge of all the maps, but no. It apparently there is stuff under the gray soup. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Yeah, you got to worry about like stuff like sharks and all that. that oh, gets pretty so useful. there, so it is Far Cry. So it's Far Cry, Far Creed, Black Flag. Am I gonna be able to hunt fish with a bow under Far Creed? Uh, I don't know. Maybe that'd be cool, actually. Am I? Oh, am I gonna get some new like cool like kills? Like I come out of the water like a ninja and just like grab this dude and like pull him back into the water be like get out of here bro probably that actually really oh cool. god this is a landmine right here this is bad <laughs> but anyways uh, uh according to stuff you can like in the trailer it shows him with like four pistols and all that and shooting stuff and unlike the assassin's creed one trailer where it's like oh hey check out this crossbow you're never getting that in game but yeah, no, you can. You'll eventually have the ability to upgrade to the four pistols and just whip them out, like pop, 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 and be like, yeah. But you only start with one. Well, yeah, so kind of. I mean, pistols were pretty popular on ship. Ship, you know, you're up close. Got to, oh, I hope there's a blunderbuss. I really yeah, hope it's a blunderbuss. That will be awesome. And I, I really hope there's like ship customization or something. Cause that'd be cool. I mean, like getting um, a ship. reading here, you can. Uh, there's ship archetypes. Well, yeah, of course there's going to be ship types. I mean, you can't just have, like, one ship for the whole game. Well, you could. That would be fun. I don't like a big ship or, like, a little ship or a, a blue yeah. ship or a red ship. Or a one ship, two ship, if you're going to continue on with that theme. Anyway. Dr. Seuss, everybody. So, Black Flag seems going to be good, but we can't expect yep. much because we don't know much. So And also, I don't expect too much because We're basing this off of a video not... that is not of in-game footage. And cool. also, Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed 3 was poo, so I don't expect too much. And therefore, it's probably going to be good in my eyes. Uh, okay. Uh, Company Heroes release date. I mean, there's nothing really special about that. I think that's pretty old news. But I think new Company is going to be nice. It's honest. There was a mod for the Company Heroes that added Russia, but now they're actually making it official. Which is awesome. I don't think we're going to see big changes in the graphics department, even though I hate to say that. I don't think we're going to well, see... I mean... Company Heroes already was was not bad. I mean, it still it still stands up today. Yeah, and I think it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. Probably. 
But uh, I think it's gonna be a good game. They've Company Heroes is very good game as ready. I've never really heard any big complaint. Oh, excuse me. Any complaints about it? So, yeah. Woohoo! Nice. Uh, I there's not much we can really talk about on that. And then, well, I mean, it looks cool. Like, cause the, it's bringing the whole cold into that into perspective. Well, no, it's just gonna be wintry in. No, no, no. The cold is actually like if you if you leave soldiers out in the cold for too long, like they'll die. Oh, frostbite. Yeah, like they'll get Russian frostbite winter. and die, and like, and they'll like uh, what what do you want to call it? Like if they run through big like piles of snow, they'll get like they'll Slow. uh, yeah, get slowed down. And like you cool. can have some, like snipers dressed in all white and just like go out and just. Snipe. Really, they wear all white in the snow. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. This is uh, are you game uh, do changer. You not know that? Well, they wore green in the last game, so might as well, well change it up. Maybe they shouldn't wear green. They should wear purple. Nope. Actually, you know what? Purple. Let's do this. Yeah. Stand out conspicuously, man. I want, a, I want a mod that gives me purple snipers. Uh, just remove all the textures. I think that's what would be. What would it be? No, there'd just be nothing. There'd just be like a grid that says like no textures. I think. I no, that's you, just, you would just have a mesh. Anywho. So not much to uh, say on that. The game looks great. I mean, still... Not, well, there has been in-game... Has there been footage released? Yeah, there's been in-game footage. There's been and it's, it. it's pretty much changed... Like, I think everyone's been... Like, this has been released out because... Well, I hope... Well, they, because I uh, I THQ that. pretty much went under. We, we all know that. Got, rest in peace, THQ. We're sorry that you had to die, but you made great games and all that. But anyway, Sega basically took this and... Uh, I think the release date was uh, originally like earlier for this, but now it's currently what June? Uh, where'd I have? Where'd I put that? I just had that in my hands. Where'd that go? I, uh, where is it? June twenty fifth is the new is the new release date. I think it was supposed to release in like May, so it's been a little bit delayed. But I think it's mainly because so Sega can look at it. Well, because there's say, all the logistical like changes in the company, and so they gotta figure all that the stuff out. Yeah, that's what that's what I mean. Um, let's see, anything else to say? Oh, I hope they bring in a lot of the cool, like, Russian tanks, you know, like, oh, what is, what is that one called, my favorite one? Now I gotta uh, look it up. T... T-92? No, uh... T-91? World War II Russian... I don't know, T-91's like an tank. actual, right, normal tank as of now, I think. Well, obviously it's gonna be, like, T-34s, because that's Russia's... Main battle tank. Yeah, that yeah. was that was that was honest. That's been said to be the best tank in existence Never. in the time, just because the way. I don't it, know. The Panzers and the Tigers are pretty damn powerful. No, the problem with the Panzers and the Tigers, though, they're expensive. They're slow, and the T thirty four was Panzers the best. Were pretty dang it's fast, the man. best all around tank of World War. Well, II. All around, but like it was Pan cheap. You know how in World War? Okay, in World War Two, basically they were able. Like, Hitler was able to like take over countries so fast because like the tanks would roll in so much faster than everyone else like panzers I mean, were really fast Poland really stood a chance with horses but good job panthers you <laughs> killed horses high five panthers you want a cookie wait panthers they literally just set hordes of panthers okay yeah the t-35 which i think is really cool like it has all the turrets it's, it's big it's it's a behemoth. I mean, it's not the most powerful tank. It's an it's an infantry fighting tank. It's have you seen like World War One tanks? Infantry. Does World War tanks have a T thirty four in it? What? I don't think any of the heavy uh, Russian infantry fighting tanks are in it. Aww. Oh well. Anyways, let's, let's move fight on from with this. infantry, and they're not designed to fight really other tanks or T thirty five. Yeah. To hurt, hurt, hurt. Oh. Last uh, topic. Okay, Telltale's Walking Dead game is set for a new season. They had announced that yes, we're going to make a season two because we ended on a cliffhanger, and now we're going to make a season two, and it's coming fall instead of 2014, like we had said beforehand. So that's awesome because I really liked that game. I didn't play it, but I watched people play it, and it was really cool. I mean, and I played like the iPhone game if that counts for anything. There was an iPhone game for it. Yeah, there's an iPhone Walking Dead. Really? Yeah, it's the same as like a PC. Excuse me for yawning. It's the same as the PC. It's just on your mobile device. Oh. Played anywhere. Played on the bus. Played on the train. Played on an airplane. But yeah, Walking Dead, new seasons coming out and all that. Uh, 
really fun game. I would suggest if anyone doesn't have it right as of now, go out and at least watch a video of it, and then maybe well, if you watch videos of it, you pretty much already because the gameplay doesn't change. It's it's literally a point and click adventure. So hey, gameplay is not going to change. It's easy. Anything. It's a point and click adventure, but it has a great story, so I can kind of forgive it for that. So yeah. Uh, yeah, dog. Yeah. Dog. That's pretty much all our topics we had for today. I feel I... like we had too many topics in a way. No. It's too much. I think I think too ten many topics words. is enough. No, I think that's enough. I mean, it we we got some. This is pretty nice for a first episode. Not good, well, solid, almost hour of us not hey, knowing what we're it's doing. It's forty-five minutes. It's forty-five minutes since I started recording. I'm sitting here playing Battlefield this whole time, just kind of pistoling oh, people. I'm... I've been sitting here talking instead of, you know, being, you know, not paying attention, apparently. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, Thank you uh, for coming if you came, yeah. if you stayed this long. I mean, so uh, good because you supported us. I don't have a channel, so. Yeah. Well, I do. I mean, I don't have any. I have like one My video. I was seeing if I could record Sins of the Solar Empire okay, but. You couldn't. I could actually work pretty well. Really? Huh? Why don't you do stuff? Um, because since the Solar Empire is really time-consuming, uh, and I just boring. get angry because it takes so long. The ships aren't big enough. Okay, it's the problem. <laughs> the ships just aren't big enough. I actually have uh, since of a Solar Empire Trinity. I haven't like played any of it though. It it it's, it it takes a little bit to start. Yeah, I like I've. I picked it up on the Steam sale. Like, I think everyone is. Everyone's like, I bought this game on a Steam sale, and there it sat. Yeah, it tends to happen. You know, you buy a bundle, you only want like three of the five else. games in it, and so you just kind of like end up. Yeah. All right. So thanks for joining us, guys, on this episode Thank of you. Doc and Big Shoot the Shit. Huggles and huggles. <laughs> All right. Adios. Bye.